ho stampers, Deb Valder here, your fun stampers journey coach, and today I'm going to bring you the cutest card ever. It's with our No Problem Llama stamp set, and it is just absolutely adorable. This little guy has so many accessories to go along with him. Um, you can leave them on, you can take them off, they're just adorable. But what I want to show you with this card is that it has some texture to it. So it's ju not just your average um, flat card. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do that. The inspiration for this came from a book, um, a series of books, I should say, that I read to my grandchildren called Llama Llama Red Pajama. And they ha uh, this Anna um, Dudney um, has an entire series of these. They're just adorable little books. So uh, Llama Llama Red Pajama is the one that actually got me really excited about this. And I have one of her books that I'm sending to Izzy, my granddaughter, um, because she's having a little bit of a hard time at um, daycare. And what she is, is she's having separa separation anxiety. So I'm going to send her Llama Llama Miss, Mrs., Mrs. Bama. And um, I'm going to send her this card to go along with it. So um, I know she's going to love it. She loves my cards when I give them to her. So um, this is the card that I'm going to send. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really super cute. All right? So let's get started. We're going to use uh, work on the top layer right here. It is the... Um, the uh, three and three quarters by five inch layer. And let me just grab one of those layers right here and we will get started. Now I like to emboss um, my llamas. So let me just show you how I stamped it. I always take and try to do it the fastest way ever. So I actually uh, mounted my stamp and my words with our fantastic little um, blocks that have the grids in them. It's no problem um, where, no problem llama, um, lining them up on the grid so our words and my little guy right here is all lined up perfectly. So for this one because I just want to show you how easy it is to stamp and I do do quite a few at a time and if you don't believe me I'm going to show you that I already have I think five or six of them cut out embossed and ready to go. All right so that's what I did I stamped them up and then I embossed them and we are ready to go. All righty so here's this. I'm going to line up the side of my blocks with the side of my paper. Just stamp this little guy down and he's ready to go. I will actually put embossing powder on him and heat him. And when I am done, this is what I have. Voila! Okay, so I'm going to use one of the ones I already have because I know you guys all know how to emboss. Now, when, I'm, when I am doing things like this, like I showed you, I always do extras of everything. So when I had my stamp set out, the No Problem Llama stamp set, it is, a, um, it is a bundle. So we do have the dies to go along with the stamp set. And when I do this, I literally have everything into my um, journey storage pouch. And what I mean by that, <clears throat> excuse me, is that we have pouches. I have the stamp set. I have the um, the dies that go along with it. And what I love to do is to pre-stamp a lot of things, not necessarily cut them all out, but what I do is in my little packet right here. So when I take this package out of my storage container, I have um, a lot of stuff already done. If I'm going to get out my stamps and my ink, I am definitely going to take and do a bunch of things and have them ready for the next card. So that's what I did. I pre-stamped and I pre-embossed um, a lot of these images so that I could just store them into my little pouch right here. And then I take my little pouch and I store them into our containers. Now, I have an entire video on our containers um, and how our storage unit works. So make sure you hop on over to that video, um, the journey storage video, and um, you'll see what I have um, and how I, I've done all of these. I not only store my stamps and my dies in there, but I also um, store my um, my uh, my embossing folders. I store my um, my stencils, and um, these are my these are the stamps that I store in here. Also, I store them out or, uh, numerically according to the number. And when I need a stamp, I just go to my catalog, look up the stamp number, and then go to that storage unit that I have, <clears throat> and that's where it is. Just a little bit of background on how I store things and why I have so many things done ahead of time. Because why get out all of the stuff if you're not going to take and um, do a bunch of them and have them ready for the next time? So these I will also put in here for when I'm ready. Um, sometimes I will already stamp them up, but for right now I'm just going to store everything in my little container. So we have this piece right here. Now what I need to do, oops, I have to show you that I also store in here anything that looks like this. So, oops, he, his little leg got um, 
uh, bent over. But what I wanted to show you was um, a lot of people throw away this little piece right here. This is what they come on, this little clear sheet right here. I never do. And the reason I don't is because if I stored them on the back of this, like most people do, um, it would look like this. And I wouldn't be able to read the words. I'd have to go to the front cover, see what it is, uh, front cover, see what it is. Um, but what I like to do is to keep this, leave this in my little storage pouch at all times so that I know which stamp set um, I have out. But I also am able to just turn this over and say, oh, okay, I'd like to see lots of love or um, let's uh, go away a la pack a bag um, or save the drama for the llama. Now, it's really hard to see on this side. And if you had them attached to this white sheet, um, it would be hard. So that's why I like to do this. And then I can have my working sheet with my, um, with my stamps on the outside of it. I like to keep them here. All right, does that make sense? It, it, it makes sense for me, but I just kind of wanted to show you what I do. Now, I also keep things like this on here. Don't bend his little foot, but I also keep things like this on here so that I have a mask or whatever I need all ready to go. All right, so um, I'm just gonna take the mask that I previously made out and I'm going to attach him with a bent leg onto my um, little piece right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the background, but I don't wanna get it into the, um, I just don't wanna get it onto the llama himself because he's gonna be white, all right? So now I'm gonna take my pan pastels and this one comes from the um, Confectionery Days um, uh, set. And I also have one of my large do uh, dowels and I'm gonna take and I'm going to add my, um, my little foam piece right here onto the bottom. And now what I'm gonna do is use my, uh, this is the uh, pool play. And I'm just gonna take and um, ink it up. Now I like to keep my um, my foams on the bottom of here. These are the dowel um, things. They go onto the bottom of here and that way there I always know um, I have the right one with the right uh, uh, pan pastel. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take and kind of feather this out. So I start right over the top of him and then feather it out so it's a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, okay? and we're getting color around him. See how easy this is with these little daubers? I love them. They come in two different sizes. I'm using the larger one right now, and it just gives me a little bit of color on the outside of that. So super cool and easy, easy, easy. That's all there was to it. That was my background. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my, let me see, I just have a, um, a little cloth and if you go to a hotel and um, you have like the uh, shoe shine kits, that's all this is, all right? And I'm just gonna rub off the, uh, the dust from um, my little guy right there. And then I will take my mask off. Okay, there he is. And we're ready to, we're ready to take and uh, give, give this little guy some texture, all right? So how did I do that? I did that with I'm just rubbing off some of the, there we go. We're just rubbing off some of the, um, the pan pastel. All right, so now let's give it some texture. I'm gonna bring in one of my blocks and um, I'm going to take and uh, look, let me just show you again. He's got a little bit of texture on him. And the way I did that was with my um, Journey Modeling Paste. Now, if you've bought Journey Modeling Paste, don't let it go hard. Don't let it um, set around with nothing to do. Find things for it to do. Give your card some texture. And that's where I'm gonna bring this little guy to life by um, giving him some texture with my Journey Modeling Paste, all right? I always leave some saran wrap on the inside because it lasts longer, all right? So I'm gonna take my spatula, add a bunch of it to my block right here. Maybe not that much. I can always go back and get some more if I need it. All right, you don't want to waste it. Put the top back on right away because you don't want it to dry out with your uh, model or your uh, saran wrap in there. And let's just start uh, mixing this up and popping it on. And what you want to do, I'm going to start in the middle so you can see what I'm doing. I'm literally doing little dobbles, okay? And what I mean by that is I just want to make some texture on this little guy. So I'm just adding it by popping it up. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Look at, all right. You don't have to go all the way to the end. If you do happen to go outside or on the black lines, just take your finger while it's wet and uh, poke it back in, 
All right, and what do I mean by that? Let me just show you. I think I went out of the lines just a little bit right here. If you poke it in while it's still wet, you can see the line perfectly. All right, so while it's got it this way, let's just, this is really fast, believe it or not, and little Izzy is gonna absolutely love this. I think so. Like I said, she's just having a little bit of separation anxiety right now, um, and I, I just think that uh, there's been um, tears, and it's so hard, especially when you're so far away, to hear that, that you know, she's got little tears. So I thought I would send her that, that uh, book along with this little card and make her smile. You know, it's all about uh, giving smiles. There we go. See this? See how easy this is? You don't have to go all the way to the edge. Um, got that part of it all done. Let's do his legs. Again, all I'm doing is just dabbing it on. It's so stinking cute. If you need to, you can color him any color that you want. So if you want like a rainbow alpaca, you can do that. We have a llama farm here. They're the cutest little things ever. I love to watch them eat. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I do love to watch them eat. Their little mouths just go munch, munch. Okay, so here we go. Then we're going to just take this and just bring it over to the end like that. And we are almost done. We're on the home stretch right here. I wanted you to see from beginning to end how easy this is um, without... Um, fast forwarding it because it really doesn't take that long and then the, the longest it takes is, is for it to dry really all right and I'm gonna go up and around being careful not to get into his eyes a little bit but for this one it's, it's I'm gonna show you something a little bit different um, so his eyes really don't matter on this one there we go let's get to the end right here Okay, and then in his, when I did his ears, here we go. If you want to, if you want to wipe off his eye, you can do that. But in his ears right here, I'm going to take and take some of this off right here because I want a nice point for his ears. All right, and then I'm just going to dab that in there like that. This is so cute, and it really is. You've got to try this. If you have this stamp set, you have to give this a try because it is so stinking cute. Alrighty, almost done. She's going to love this. Absolutely love this. There we go. Oh, I want to get a little bit more on his head, I think. See, and then if it dries and you find a spot that you think is flat or it needs just a little bit more, you can always go back and add another layer to it. Um... Llamas are very forgiving. There we go. It doesn't matter about this right here because I'm going to put some eyeglasses on him. But they're so cute. And that's all there is to it. That's how fast it was. If you need to go back and just dab a little bit more, you can do that. Because it does take a little while to dry. Remember, you're putting this on extra thick. And then you'll want to take and wash this off right away um, because it will harden. Um, I, you can soak it too, because trust me, I've done it where I haven't had, um, where I haven't um, washed it off right away. So there's our little llama guy right there. Now let's take and show you what I did with the rest of it. So right here, what I'm going to do, I didn't leave as much room on this one, but I want to put some of our, our new washi tape down there. All right, so this is our new washi tape holder. I just finished a video on this, um, so you really do want to go and look at it because it is the coolest little thing ever, and they're stackable. All right, so I'm going to use two different ones on this one. I'm not going to do the bottom on this one, but I am going to do the, um, what I am, well, actually, you know what I might do on this one? I might do the blue one because... See, or do I want the red one? I think I'll do the blue one this time. All right, so I'm just going to take, and what's nice about this is you just pull it, and then you um, just kind of pull it off like that, and we're going to add that to the bottom of this. All right, and we're going to wrap it around. Whoops, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Okay, so what I did was I added my washi tape to the bottom just like this, and now what I'm going to do is to wrap it around the back and then I'm going to take my Grand Pro shears 
and just trim off the bottom. Now I'm being very careful because my llama is still wet and I don't want to um, smudge him, even though he's already smudged because that was the whole technique. All right, so I'm just cutting off the ends of that so that my blue shows there at the bottom. On this one, I did the black, but I left my, I wrote my, left my roll of black washi tape downstairs, so I did it with the blue. And then what I'm going to do is add a piece of, and that's what I love about these stackables. I can bring in whatever I need. I'm going to take a piece of the black licorice, and what it does when you do this and you rip it off, it leaves a little serrated edge right there. It's so cool. Um, so you can cut it off straight if you want to, but if not, you've got this adorable little serrated edge that gives it a little bit more um, texture, okay? Not texture, but, you know, design to your card. Alrighty, so there's that. And now what I want to show you what I did. I just love this card. It's so cute. And I've done a couple of them so far. Alright, so now what I need to do is to make his little glasses. So remember, um, what I told you earlier is I always do a lot of these things ahead of time. So if I go back into my case and get out um, some of the eyeglasses that I already cut up. All right, so I've embossed these and I've cut them because I do have a die to go along with it. I could add a little hat to them if I wanted to. All right, if I wanted to add this little guy right there, I could add a hat to him. I could add one that, that looks like he's ready for winter. Remember, he's an alpaca llama there, okay? Um, but with these right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, a Sharpie marker and make them, because he's a cool dude, I'm going to make him, a, uh, I'm gonna make him um, some sunglasses. Because I think Izzy would like the sunglasses. I think she would think it's really cute. All right, because he's a cool dude, and she's a pretty cool kid. All right, so I'm going to take and put some sunglasses. And there we go. I just took a Sharpie marker, colored them in. So now I have some dude glasses here. All right, and now what I'm going to do, I made, I pre-made one of my um, very famous... Um, flower bows. All right, so here's my flower bow that I've already made. I'm going to stick that on with some Journey. Um, I'm going to stick this on with some of our uh, Journey Craft glue. All right, because I think it's going to hold the best with that. All righty, and then I'm going to decide what button that I want. I have two separate um, sets of buttons here. I have um, our black and white buttons, and I think I might end up using, let me just show you, the heart on this one, because I've used all the other ones. So this one has little um, round um, striped ones. This one has little black um, hearts, and in this one right here, we have a multiple of sizes of the larger black striped ones. These are the B&W buttons, all right? So um, to go along with this one right here, the next thing before I put on my button is I need some of my black licorice thread, which is right here, and I'm going to take and I'm going to make two size loops. So I'm going to take two fingers, wrap it around two times, then I'm going to take three fingers and wrap it around three times, and now I have my, I want to find the end because I do like those sticking out. I think those are really cute when they're done like that. And I'm going to take my Grand Pro shears, cut it off, add some of my Journey glue right here. Whoops. I'm at the end of my glue here. All right, so I'm going to add that to the top right here like that, so it kind of hangs over just a little bit. And then, last but not least, whoops, i got to find my, there we go. Last but not least, I'm going to add a little bit more Journey Glue, and on top of that, I'm going to add my little button. Now, um, periodically, I'll, I'll press it down just to show you that, or just to uh, make sure that it stays flat. But for right now, I'm just going to lay it right there on top just like that. Now one last thing that I'm going to do for this is I'm going to take a little piece of my journey twine, journey thread, tie it in a knot, not too tight, but just tie one little knot on it, just like that. Leave a little bit of a loop in there, not too tight, because what it's going to look like, trim off these ends right here, and then what it's going to look like, again, using my little, well actually I think this time I'm going to use one of my mini glue dots here. All right, I'm going to take one of my mini glue dots and I'm going to roll it onto my finger. And what I will do is to put it right dead smack in the middle of that and add it to my button. And then it looks like I actually threaded the button, but I didn't. But people won't know that. So they're going to think I am super cool and super, super good with this. All right. 
and whoops let's get that back around there like that there we go okay and our little button is right there on the top now let's add our glasses I'm just letting all of that dry now let's add our glasses right here I'm gonna do it right on both of his eyes too Ooh, that looks funny all right add that to it just like that we are almost done Okay, there's our glasses. Now, our glasses wouldn't be glasses without having a little bit of our um, journey glaze on them. So, let's just grab our journey glaze. I'm just going to add a little bit of journey glaze right here in the middle of his eyeglasses. So it really looks like there's glass in there. Alright, so we've got that all done. Now what I need to do is, let's look at it and see what we have left. We have to, um, oh, his little bow. So we have these new bows that are coming out in our holiday mini catalog. Let me just find them. They are a set of 30 and you they are already tied. They're absolutely adorable. They're teeny tiny bows, absolutely adorable. And I'm going to add those with my journey glaze. I'm sorry, with my... Uh, craft glue right here. Whoop, there we go. Alrighty, and that will go right here in the middle. Now let me just look at my card and see if I've forgotten anything. I've got my little heart. Whoops, my heart turned around. There we go. There we go. Let's get that before it gets too dry. Alright, so I have my heart. I have my bow. I have just about everything on there. Now it's ready to attach to the card base. So I'm going to take uh, my card base right here. Let's get this out of the way because it is wet. Um, and I'm just going to fold it. Remember when you're folding your cards, I want you to fold one way lightly and then all the way with the other way and your crease tool. Alright? And you do that so that you get a nice fold at the top. Alrighty, so there's those. Let's add some of our Easy Glide. We are almost done. This card is so cute. I hope you liked it. This set is adorable. I, it's got to be a must-have for anybody. I've got a few more cards coming up with it. Um, you're going to see how cute they are. So um, get it now and you can do them right along with me. Alrighty, so... There's that. And now because I already have all of my wet stuff on there, I'm going to attach my um, card just like this, which I don't normally do, but because it is wet, that's the way I'm going to do it. Alrighty, and then our card is done. I actually like it with that little bit of blue on there um, at the bottom. I think that came out really, really super cute. But anyway, that's our card. This is for Izzy today. I hope you like it. Oh, here he is without his glasses on. I wanted to show you that. I wanted to point out. So you don't have to have glasses, but I just think that it's really super cute with the glasses on there. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. I hope you liked my post for today. Thanks for stopping by. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.